plastic than fish And that's really not something I would wish Alright, so I'm here at the Holiday Inn and uh, today, or right now, is actually Earth Hour and it's a time where we celebrate the Earth and we do everything that we can for the Earth in one hour. You'll start to see the lights are starting to turn off and dim down. We're about to do a special event. I'm wearing um, my vegan shirt to help represent um, the impact that we have on the Earth and we might be able to affect the Earth for one hour and that's amazing. Turn off all the energy, maybe don't drive, maybe don't use any cars and that's gonna make a big impact on Earth for that one hour. But what I challenge people to do is why only spend an hour per year on the Earth? Why not do more for the Earth? Why not change every year the way they eat for the Earth? Because the fact is that a vegan diet causes the least amount of harm for all of the Earth, okay? From pollution to water to rainforest deforestation um, to many other facets um, within um, the food that we eat, where it comes from, where it's grown, how is it, how is it grown. And the thing is that we do that three times per day. Most people will eat three times per day. So the fact that we have that power um, with what we eat can affect the planet and everyone that lives on it is an amazing, is an amazing thing. So we'll see how this goes tonight. All right, so we're about to get started for the Earth Hour. As you can see, point there to the candles. They're setting up the candles right now. And I find it really interesting that we're standing in front of a ribeye steakhouse. As you can see, the ribeye steakhouse, okay? Um, and what's interesting about that is steak, which comes, from, which comes from cows, is the leading cause of greenhouse gases as far as all animal emissions. Um, also, they have some of the most amount of pollution. Um, and so it's very interesting that we can be celebrating Earth Hour, okay, right now. Um, which is to pr protect the earth and right in front of a, a ribeye steakhouse which is going to cause the most harm of any of the animal agriculture industries is coming from cow farming okay including dairy as well so I just find that very ironic and interesting um, but we'll see how this goes all right so here we have the candle right now and this represents using candles um, as less energy um, of course, the energy sector um, is tremendous in the amount of impact it has for the earth um, and greenhouse gases and the global warming emissions. Um, so using a candle much more than using traditional electricity is a very, very good option. Or, or earth represents? Look, I think, um, I think it represents um, um, just how we can support the environment, be more um, uh, vigilant towards what um, um, people forward, you know, when we when we talk about um, going green and uh, protecting the environment, we have something in our company that says the Green Engage. Oh, okay. really? Wow! And it's all about what we can do to, you know, make sure that we are, um, you know, going green, supporting the environment. Uh, so simple things like, for example, no more uh, plastic straws. Sure. Um, yeah. Things like that. But this is something that can just bring a bit more. Um, uh, I think. Um, Awareness. Awareness. Yeah. Okay. Awareness to the people. Yeah. Um, we we hope that over the uh, over the next year, few years, we can get more support towards this. It's something that's been initiated over the last few years. You feel that there's much more participation in this. Yeah. But I think that with the years, um, people are becoming much more aware. There are people that book hotels, um, knowing that hotels are very um, into into this stuff. Yeah. So we are um, on a hotel, and our company IG in general supports this initiative. And hopefully we can get uh, more people to become uh, more aware and uh, you know support this. Yeah, forward. I think I agreed so much as the awareness is a is a key piece. I think sometimes a lot of people don't realize the impact that they can make, like an individual level, you know, or maybe the choices that they make, you know, to impact the environment. Whether it's like you mentioned, like plastic straws or or stuff like that, yeah, right? You go around, you just see people. Just you know, you go to places, houses, you see people not there, and the lights are all on. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, global warming and all this. Everything yeah. has everything has a. Uh, I think everybody can make a small impact. Yeah. But it, you know, at the end of the day, it's not. It's not easy. It's not yeah. Something that happens within. You know, you cannot just uh, expect to wake up the next morning and everything. It's going to take time. Yeah, for sure. But um, the more people participate, the more people become aware of what impact this has. Yeah. I think um, we have a better possibility or better chance to um, create a better future for 
the next generation. For the next generation, our kids, our kids. Children. Have you seen like they do like the the kids that are doing like climate strikes? Have you seen that? Where they, um, they on the March fifteenth they striked yes, and they didn't yes, go to school yes, and and yes, for for yes, the climate you saw yes. that like in like it's so many a, different it countries. Didn't happen in this. I, in, I, I would, in Kuwait. I would, want it to, I would want it to happen more in this part of the world. Yeah. But uh, again, like you said, it's all about creating awareness. I yeah. see. You know, with that happening around the world, I think that um, uh, just by things, uh, you know, you guys taking videos like this or, or trying to create your awareness on your YouTube channel. Yeah, this sure. Will, this will help. This will help and I really appreciate it. And yeah. thank you for joining us. And yeah. coming. Do you think, I have another question, do you think that some of the food choices that we make have an impact on the environment? Like there's maybe there's some food choices that have a much bigger impact for greenhouse gases or climate change or global warming and there's other ones that have much less. Um, yeah, what do you think some of those ones are? Um, like food choices. Well, what do you think are some ones that are really high in greenhouse gases or damaging the environment from water pollution or rainforest deforestation? Um, to be honest with you, um, I wouldn't be the guy to answer that question for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, uh, I think I think that um, that's something to think about, right? Because yeah, like, is, let's say is. energy, right? Energy is really hard to change, right? Like, you're gonna turn all the lights off in the hotel? Not very often, right? You need certain energy, right? Are you true, gonna drive true. drive your car less? It's hard, right? Like, let's say maybe you drive less, or maybe you you get a car that's better, more eco-friendly, right? But we eat three times a day. If there was food that we could eat. They could have a much less impact on the environment, no, and everybody transition towards that. It would make a bigger impact. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Look, yeah. You talk about, and you talk about. Look, I started. I started the campaign in this hotel now recently. Yeah. About um, energy. Yeah. You know, if you go, I walk around and I see light bulbs. You know. Yeah. I've, you know, trying to educate everybody in this hotel through the leaders in the hotel to make sure that if they leave their offices for five minutes. Just turn on the light, turn off the light. Yeah. You know, what we're doing now is um, the water, the, you know, we're, we're, we're spending so much money on water. Yeah. Um, whether it's in bathrooms, yeah. toilets, everything. So we're changing everything to make sure that we um, minimize the use of yeah, water. Yeah, the minimize the use of okay. water, yeah. And, you know, IG has a target for um, uh, carbon. Yeah. So there's a target for every hotel that they need to achieve. Wow. And this is also something that will help create awareness, make us understand what is needed to be done to make us achieve that target. Yeah. By achieving that target, we're already playing a role. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. Hopefully, would you be surprised to know that um, that cow, like eating beef, is the number one cause of most of the, glo no, of the global warming? You're not surprised. Not have surprised. you heard that before? Yes, I have. Yeah, but I didn't want to say that <laughs> because, to be very honest. Um, it needs, I need to start somewhere as well. Sure, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. A, I, you know, yeah. I eat a lot of beef. Yeah, yeah. So, but again, um, it, it, it needs to take time. I think yeah. more, more awareness, more understanding of the severity of it. Yeah, for sure. Will have an impact in the future. But I, I know where you're coming from. Yeah, I, I agree. I used to eat, oh my gosh, I used to eat, I came from US. All yeah. right, where are you from? I'm Australian Lebanese. Australian Lebanese, Lebanese okay. Yeah. But you were you born you lived in Australia? Australia? But I'm originally Lebanese, yeah. Exactly. So of course Australia like 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 True. the outback, yeah, right? Lebanon, Lebanon's and all that sort of Lebanon's stuff. Lebanon's no better, huh? Yeah, yeah, but I would say the Mediterranean diet, yeah, you know, true. is a little bit better for sure. There's true. a there's a very high in oil, right? But definitely a lot lower in, in most of the animal true. products, right? But US, right, they eat the number one the most amount of meat I per know. people. Know. Right? Food, huh? Um sure, junk food, but even just per per person, kilogram. Right, the amount per year is the highest in the world. Right, so I come from that place. All right, and I used to eat just so much like that. And as you can see, maybe made my shirt vegan. Yeah, I became vegan. Yeah, um, almost um, a year and a half, about a year and a half now. And what I learned is that animal agriculture is the number one cause of so much of the environmental damages. And so what I do now is I educate people on how to transition their lifestyle awesome. into a better into a better way. Part of me coming to the Earth Hours, I love this Earth. How, I love how do it. you feel about it? Oh, how do I feel about it for me personally? Yeah. Um, in, re in what regards? You, is it, are you finding it difficult to be uh, to do what you do? You know, no, absolutely not. This is why. This is why it's not difficult. I first transitioned for health, right? So at first I was like, you know, I really want to be healthier. Um, I'm t I was tired of getting sick all the time. I was about 20 kilos overweight. Um, and so I was kind of tired of feeling sick and tired. I was really. 18 kilos more than I am now two yeah. years ago. Yeah, nice. I eat now maximum 150 um, grams of meat a day. Uh huh. So yeah. I used to eat a lot. Yeah. But I, and you I don't do that protein diet. Yeah. Okay, I, I focus on other things that are more healthier. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I, always, I already feel better about myself yeah. doing that. But again, yeah. there's still a lot more to do. So what happened is I went for health. I learned all the health aspects. Then I learned about the environmental impacts. 
right? So what I learned is that it, it's the number one cause of rainforest deforestation. So it's killing the rainforest because they're growing soybeans in Brazil and they're growing their feeding cattle, cattle in Brazil, which is the, where the major rainforest is right there in Brazil, right? Water pollution, all the runoff from the, from the feces, from all the animals, we kill and slaughter 56 billion animals per year wow. worldwide, right? So all, their, all they have to poop, right? Poop and pee. So I learned all this stuff about the environment. But what made it easy, right? So we're like, okay, that's enough. But made it the easiest is when I watched what happened, how they were treated. First, I realized I didn't have to eat that way. So I felt so much better inside. I had so much healthier, so much more energy. My skin started clearing up. The weight, kind of like the fat started to melt off, you know, my body. So I felt good. And I realized I didn't have to eat that way. And I realized it caused so much environmental damage. Then I saw how they were killed and they were raised. And I realized, wait, if we don't have to do this, right? We, we know we don't have to, because otherwise all the vegetarians would be dead or the vegans would be dead. Yeah. We know we don't have to, right? And you could live healthier that way. Sure. So what are we doing this for the animals for? So it became really easy when I connected my actions with my beliefs, right, towards the animals. So now I'm more, I would say, more ethical vegan, which means that I wouldn't go eat meat or, di or cheese or dairy because of what I've seen. You didn't start doing it just because you know, some people become vegans or yeah. because they don't like meat. Sh uh, yeah, you, that's you, very rare. Yeah, but you, that's like, you were a person who ate a lot of meat. Loved meat, meat. And then yeah. I actually all. love meat so much that I'm searching for always the next best meat tasting product yeah. that tastes like meat, but it's made from plants, right? Wow. Like, have you heard of the Beyond Meat Burger? Huh? Beyond Meat Burger. No. It's this new burger that's coming out. It'll be available in Kuwait really soon. Um, but it's a burger sure. that tastes exactly like beef. I mean exactly. Wow. And it has no animal products. It's made from pea protein, right? And then they have like, they take like some beetroot to make it kind of look like it's bleeding, okay. right? Okay. So this one has, it's something like 90% less water use. You know, something like about like 80% less greenhouse gases to produce this one. So you get the same taste, and I mean the same taste. Like it tastes exactly the same without the damage. And so that's kind of like the way where the future is going, that's you know. But that's one example. Like that's if you're really craving that burger. You know what I mean? Wow. There's other places you could find. You could find know. veggie burgers as substitutes. Yeah, but yeah, that one is like identical, you know, which is kind of where the future is going with some of the food. No, no, and I'm yeah. sure down the line in the next few years and the years to come, it's going to become a much I think healthier uh, environment. Yeah, I think Australia's people. changing a lot too. Yeah. you've probably seen even yeah. hearing the word yeah. vegan or yeah. a yeah. lot in Australia. Even in America, yeah. even in the States, the word yeah, of vegan course. is becoming much more um, uh, hurtful. So, yeah. well done, good on you. Okay, yeah, uh, well, it was great talking to you. Pleasure. What was your name again? Michael. Michael, Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, it's a pleasure. Yes, and pleasure to meet you. Around, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I live nearby. Need, let me know. Yeah, okay. Cheers. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. Let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we live. And let's change the way we treat each other. You see, the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we got to do to survive. And still, I see no changes. Can't a brother get a little peace? It's war on the streets and the war in the middle. Peace. Instead of war on poverty.